Yo, what up, what it is, and what it do. This is your favorite cousin, and I am back with another banger. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you can be notified when your favorite cousin posts another video. All right, y'all, so today we're going to try something a little different. The humidity hit my hair, but we here. So today we are at Asian Times Square in Grand Prairie, and they have, like, all of these restaurants up in here. It's probably about six to seven restaurants. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get something from at least two or three of them and we're gonna get a mukbang after some of guns so the first one that i'm about to eat right now is actually some freaking sushi it's called omasa omakasi omakasi to go but before we get into this good old bite let's go ahead and get into this prayer because i don't care where we are this is what we do about God, thank you so much once again for the food that you have prepared before my body, Lord God. Thank you for your grace, your mercy. Thank you for your sacrifices, Lord God. I just want to say thank you for everything. Let this day go just as amazing as you. And we just want to say thank you. In your name I pray, amen. So I'm waiting on my first meal right now from Omakasi to go. And I think I'm going to try the corn dogs next. Yeah. Happy Thursday, baby. Let's get it. Thank you. Oh, that looks pretty. And so much. Get your nice sushi. Oh, I did want to try the tuna. I'm scared of the tuna, by the way. Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> Don't worry. It's delicious. I'm not gonna regret it. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right, y'all. So the first stop is obviously the sushi place. This is the tuna that I really wanted to try with this raw. And this right here is I forgot what the roll is called, but it looks a bussin, 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 bussin. And if y'all if y'all don't know, this is totally out of my comfort zone, like going somewhere to record a video. But sometimes you gotta do what it is you gotta do. You gotta step out of your comfort zone. So I got the ginger, the wasabi, and the soy sauce right here. And without further ado, and many more to come, let's go ahead and get into this bite. We have to do it. All right, let's see what we got. Go. I'm excited to take too. Okay. There we go. First bite. Put the good old Budook. Let's do it. Mmm. 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 That's excellent. Simple. That's actually some of the best sushi. This is some of the best sushi that I've ever had. And it's got green onions on top of it. And it's, it's stuffed with shrimp, avocados, sour cream, spicy mayo on top, and it looks like it has crab on the top. So look at that. Dipping in a little buruk for the buruk. Oh wow. 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 Cool. This is actually, this is so good. And it's like the, man, the green onions on the top take it to a whole nother level. A whole nother freaking level. Put it in some more soy sauce for the blue. Okay. Here's the tuna. I don't know if y'all can see it, but this is the tuna. And it's actually raw. We ain't wrong, baby. We're doing stuff we ain't never did. This is the tuna. Yep. Now the tuna, I don't really like the texture. You know I'm a texture person. I don't really like the texture. And I can feel myself getting a little bit more comfortable realizing that people here don't care as much as I do. I'm really not like a tuna person. And the fact that it's raw, but the green onions on it take it like to a whole nother level. Let me put some soy sauce in there.
Open. The chat room. Throws me out. But I actually like the tuna. And I like how the premium is not paper plates or nothing like this is this is ceramic, dude. This is ceramic. Blushing. Okay. I can't get too full because I want to go to the next spot. And the next spot over there is the corn dog. So I'm about to have them to wrap this up for me. And then we head to the corn dog place. Hold on, cuz. Alright. They working outside. They working outside. So I'm gonna take this home right here. Hold up. Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Hopefully you can hear me. I got my mic on, but you know how that goes. I'm gonna wrap this up. I wanted to try that little shrimp tail too. Bucky. They outside working right now. And they just started doing that. So the next place we got to go to is the corn dog place. Hold on, folks. Meal number one is down. The second meal is going to be the fresh corn dogs. Hopefully you can hear me because they are outside, outsiding. They're outside, outsiding. And, uh, yeah. I hope you like this kind of vlog. If you like this kind of vlog where I'm just going through things and just experimenting, don't forget to say cuz, do some more of them. Yeah, I actually, I actually had to move to a place a little bit more quiet because hopefully you can't hear what they're doing outside. So the second stop is the Korean corn dog, the infamous Korean corn dog. If you've never had a Korean corn dog, this is what they look like. And I'm excited to get into this summer gun. And of course, they will stop whenever I get somewhere close. This is the Korean corn dog. So we're about to try this summer gun. You ready? Let's do it. Oh my God. And they're made fresh. Fresh to go. And then this one actually has pumpo. This one actually has ranch on it, which takes it up even a more notch because it's just it's cheesy too. Like watch this. You know when pumpo. You know when. I can't even get it out because of my food. If you know you got that perfect cheese pull, how you try to get a thumbnail. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to get a thumbnail. Pull up. We'll figure something out. This is actually busting. How are you? And it's just cheese on the inside of it. And that's all I really wanted. But. <laughs> but I had really wanted to try the hot Cheeto one. But this one will do. Every time. It's just something about it. You know what? I forgot to get triple. I forgot to get the sugar and the ketchup and the mustard on it. Because it's needing a little bit of more saltiness. Overall, I give this a 10 out of 10. I mean, it's just a corn dog with, with a lot of cheese. Boston. If you live in, if you live in, I ain't getting no napkins. If you live in the Grand Prairie area, this is on um, this is on Pioneer. Let's Google Asian Times Square. It'll bring you here. And it's just you know what this right here is just like honestly just the the mall where all of the food restaurants are that's not even an outside that they have a korean market next door 
and they have all kind of other restaurants out there but if you come here you want a korean cheese dog close to you and you're in grand prairie this is the place and i come back i'm gonna try that hot cheeto one all right two hands that's a 10 out of 10 for me from two hands i don't know my boot bag over here because after every time hand sanitizer all right well, that's meal two out of two we're going for it today i'm not full yet I'm taking all of this home boo. and if you see another video on this don't worry about it sweetheart this is split but i'm about to go and find me something else to eat so far this is going pretty great i'm getting more comfortable on the camera even though it's somebody next to me the more that i realize they don't give a damn neither do i we have All right, stop number two. No, number three. Let's go see what we can find now. Boo, let me tell you, that humidity then did a number to my hair. So the second place, no, the third place we're trying is actually gonna be called Sakari Raymond. It's called Sakari Raymond, and I'm showing you something right here to let you know. You know, I'm social distancing, but he's still. in here it is but uh the third place is actually raymond so i got my ticket right here thumbnail got my ticket well my number right here so they're actually going to bring it to me so just gonna wait on the raymond to come so i'm sitting here waiting on my food and i want to give you like a little insight on what i actually came here to do it's actually like a hot pot restaurant right there that i was actually intentionally coming to do a video on but they closed at three and i'm actually still vlogging right now but they closed at three and so like now it's like 350 but um so when i seen all of the other restaurants that you're seeing me eat at i was like you know what i'm gonna just go around and something good and shoot just try what i can try until i get full so that's what happened but the hot pot restaurant is right there but the music was so loud so we're gonna figure that so i'm going out even if i could just go get you like a short of the hot pot one day we're gonna come back because i'm actually in the middle of the vlog so anyway oh let's go ahead and get into this conversation while we waiting on our food now so the third course will be like i said raymond um i don't even know what kind of raymond it is i just asked her her favorite kind of raymond and she told me what it was and i told her to add the spicy sauce so today is all about challenging the outside again today for me is Well, today for me is all about just challenging myself to do different things. Um, most of the time when I come out, I'm more comfortable on camera when I'm with somebody. So today I actually like just challenge myself to come out by myself and see how it works out for me. And to be honest, it's actually going better than I freaking expected because nobody even really gives a not a care in the world. They still outside, outside. And but I just wanted to challenge myself today to do something. challenge myself to do something freaking different something outside so i can get because of a beat beyond the table so that's the kind of path that i'm going on don't want to do this again because that coffee man is coming back i'm waiting i'm waiting on my number i'm putting on my mask hi oh that looks good thank you thank you thank you all right eat your meal so much thank you all right y'all so y'all just see her bring me the raymond i'm gonna get y'all a close-up of this because boom i'm stepping my game up i don't know what y'all thought this was but this ain't that so you got the spicy raymond turn on your light it i just got this today i don't really don't know how to use it but we have okay so this is the spicy raymond oh that's pretty is it a little oh that's pretty so this is the noodles spicy raymond giving real noodles vibes it's giving real noodle vibes i'm here for it it's got some corn in it green onions soft boiled egg i look like some beef for the badoop oh and i'm excited to try that right there so we about to try the spicy raymond okay she bought me some spicy sauce but i'm gonna hold off on the spicy sauce first until i kind of see what it's hitting on i honestly want to try these okay y'all gotta enlighten me they they outside again what are these nope 
They good. They good though. They good. All right. Let's try this ramen. Y'all, I hope y'all can hear me, but don't nail. I'm about to try this with the hard boiled egg right now because boom, it's looking mighty fine. They got some nice big piece of beef over here too. This is my first time actually having this. This is my, this is my corn in the tomb. This is my first time having like authentic Raymond for oh snap with a broth like this and the beef and the corn in it. Once again, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. I probably should have tasted that before I put that all in there. That's like a, that's like a two times spicy sauce. Wow. I thought it was gonna be like sriracha. That, 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 that damn show ain't sriracha. noodles I feel like they could have had a little bit more salt and pepper in them but overall for this to be my first time actually trying this it's actually freaking blessing now now I'm trying to I'm trying to do my thug fields of a thing all right I like it it's hot it's really hot but it's good. I'll tell you what. Although the distraction is back there, I hope you can hear me because I do have on my mic right now, so hopefully it's drowning out some of that. But this has been an amazing experience. Boom. Overall, the sushi was eleven dollars. The corn dog was seven, so that's eighteen, and this was twelve. So overall, I spent about thirty dollars on meals that I'm taking home. Hell yeah, we need enough dollars. I'm not no dummy. No, I'm, I'm here, yeah, yeah. It's coming home, boy. Over here, they don't even give you like plastic utensils to eat your food. This is a real bowl, boo. This is a real bowl. This is ceramic, boo. This is ceramic. Video. That broth is what brings everything together. Let me see if I can get a little corn with my broth. Cause I'm so sorry about that noise in the background, boo. I'm trying to do what it is that I do. But you know, it's always a hater in the bunch. Will you? Okay, I could have left the corn out, but I like it. You know, I love me some corn. I love it. This is busting. It's good. 
and all them labels up in there. Now they're coming together. Somebody tell me, what, what is this? I, I wish I was a little bit more educated. Somebody tell me what that is. I'm good though. I ate all my beef out of here. Now at this point, I'm just eating noodles. Y'all saw him, he spoke, he just spoke. This whole day is giving good vibes, man. Good vibes, good food. And it's crazy because I'm not even, I'm not even full yet. All right, I'm done with the soup. So I say, because the broth on it is magnificent. The broth on this is magnificent. It is, it's a treat. I feel like a real food reviewer right now, isn't it? All right. Man. Sakari, 10 out of 10. I'm in, okay. I said I was done. I'm not done. All right. Cool. The Raymond, 10 out of 10 busting. I've spent about $30. And the last thing we're gonna end this with is some good old boba tea. So right now, I'm gonna go get us some good old bubble tea as I go get a to-go plate for all of my belongings over here because I got a stash. Boo, I, I got a stash over here. I don't know what you thought this was, but this ain't that. I actually have a stash over here, so hopefully by the time I get back, they done outside. I'll be right back. But the last stop is we're going to get some boba tea for the last stop. Okay, I thought they had boba tea in here. They don't have boba tea in here. So we're actually going to go to outside and then we're going to get in this with some good old boba tea. I could have came through that way. Okay, found the boba tea. Found the boba tea. All right. Whew. And last but not least, we end this with the boba tea. I just put a light over my phone because I'll put my camera because we end this with the boba tea. So the boba tea right now, I got the summer delight and I'm showing you on the camera right now what it is. I got the summer delight and it looks like it has all kinds of stuff in here. So we about to try the boba tea. It's got ice on the top. Dig deep, dig deep and the beast stands for band, boba tea. Oh wow. It's giving me all kind of vibes right now. It is. It's doing it's the ice on the top. Which is like snowball ice right now. The milk is creamy. Whatever those vegetables are. <clears throat> I can see why they call this the summer's delight. It's so citrusy. Look at that. Look at all that in there. Hold up. And to be honest, I'm not a fan of bobo because it looks like this. <laughs> but it's good. Overall, I'm trying to get to the fruit down there. That's pineapples. Well, like pineapples, coconut. You got the works in there. I could have deal without the ice on top. Definitely gonna end this with a cold drink because the boba is is bubbling. But I'd rather drink it. It's crazy when you got a cheese drink. But it's good though. But we're gonna end this tour right here. If you like these kind of videos, drop in the comments right now because oh, I like them kind of videos. Today we were at Asian Times Square in Grand Prairie. Everything that I ate will be linked in the description. So if you wanted to come try it, you can try it too. I hope you have a safe and amazing freaking Thursday. I love the hell out of you. Let's get it. Cause that's not how this goes. This is your favorite cousin. Hey, this is your favorite cousin. Hey, you already know what it is. You already know what to do. Guys, love it. Don't forget to drink a bit for me. This is your favorite cousin. Let's get it. Teen curse. Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. I couldn't leave y'all without a dope beat stuff too. No, I couldn't.
I like it. It's a lot. It's just a lot. And I'm not a fan of chewing my drink. But I love you. Let's get it.